Are we about to have Mars entering Gemini at the moment? So, of course, the way we think, communicate, analyze, and the way we share ideas is going to be heavily passionate, especially dealing with your environment, your surroundings, your neighbors, your friends, and individuals are going to pretty much, you know, have an intent towards their way of thinking to communicate and, of course, expressing their mind on these perspectives. Now, we're about to have Mars and Gemini for a long-ass time, almost damn near seven months, because when they go retrograde, it's going to be stationed there for a very long time. So this is actually the perfect time to come together and, of course, collaborate and utilize your mind, your intellect, your voice, and express yourself. And, of course, utilizing your freedom of speech to pretty much, you know, talk, talk that talk. And it's one thing to pretty much talk the talk, but you also got to walk the walk. But with the Mars and Gemini, it's going to have you kind of like, you know, all in a wind wheel when it comes to ideas and, of course, expressing the passion with these ideas for me. You got to have some form of intent, passion, motivation, dedication, determination when it comes to your ways of thinking and communicating, of course, coming across individuals at this time. So this is pretty much actually a, a good, perfect time. But the Mars is in Taurus. Things is like stagnated. It was like taking its time and shit. But when it's in Gemini for me, it's time to, you know, get real personal for me, especially when it comes to hands on ideas or hands on equipment or hands on works and hands on tasks. Mars and Gemini are going to have you going trillion miles an hour because gemini is a mutable sign it's not a fixated sign it's not a cardinal sign just adapt to the changes so you're gonna be adapted to a whole lot of ideas a whole lot of passion a whole lot of intent a whole lot of um integration and also you know this is gonna be a time where you can kind of like you know utilize these energies for yourself and you know put it towards a passion or motivation or something that you are truly interested in this can go through reading writing you know journaling it's also go through dreams fantasies illusions all that shit so you need to kind of like you know it's a good time to utilize you know your information and things that that matter writing it on paper writing it down making sure that you're keeping it with you and of course you got to keep that thing with you, you got to keep your passions with you, you got to keep your motivation with you, you got to keep your gun with you because you never know when you got to basically draw on that bitch but you want to pretty much take the time of these seven months to go ahead and of course you know utilize where you have you have gemini in your charts and of course get real personal get real busy with these energies for me because these energies come and go so yeah this this being that it's Mars gonna be in Gemini for a long time, gonna bring a whole lot of you know craziness. So you're gonna also you're gonna be dealing with some more reckless drivers, more recklessness in your environment, a whole lot of depth transformations in your environment too, because you're also dealing with Mars and Pluto side too. So it's like it's kind of like it's gonna be more of the day side, but you also can experience the, the other side of it. Pluto, transformation, death, rebirth, regeneration. So of course it's the time, perfect time to kind of like you know get into cahoots with these energies. Or Gemini, some on the sentences. You guys are going to be um, the examples of what to do and what not to do. And of course, wherever you got Gemini at, you're going to be an example of what to do and what not to do during this time when it comes to your actions, your passions, your motivations, the way you think, communicate, share ideas, of course, the way you express yourself and come across. So this is basically, you know, the, one of the best perfect times to pretty much get started getting busy during this time too. Now the house that you have Gemini in, this is your um, seven month ritual and spell to go ahead and of course start putting energy towards this house and this constellation wherever you have it anywhere it's comfortable or of course where it's gonna help you at i mean if you try to put it anywhere or any di other direction maybe it's gonna kind of like you know you may not be it may not go in your favor so wherever it's at this is the area and location where you know this is your territory you don't want to go into another territory having problems and shit for me it's like some grove street shit and you don't want to go into bullet territory because you know you're gonna have to you know do certain shit you don't have to defend yourself after you did that drive by now, when it comes to the first house being a Gemini, this is your personality, this is your Senate, this is how you personally appear to others. So this is what you personally need to, you know, express yourself. Personally express yourself when it comes to your passion, your personality, your personal life, the personal individuals within your life. You're going to get a charge at the, in the bedroom as, as, as well, too, being that you have more of the Gemini in your first house. You're going to get the charge in your bedroom, your personality, your persona, family, all that shit about to get um uplifted. Also, if you got this in your second house, you need to go ahead and, of course, Start coming up with um, new ways of changing and adapting and talking and communicating and sharing ideas about the things you value, the things that you want to build, the things that you want to grow on with the people, places, the things that's in the right area and location feel me? within your environment as far as building. And when it comes to your third house, it's comfortable here. So, of course, you need to come up with a whole new way of, of course, thinking and communicating and sharing ideas about the environment that you want to create or have around you or have certain anything or have certain individuals or certain people, places, and things that's like minded that you can kind of like build with during the time. Because Gemini want to adapt and want to share ideas, of course, want to communicate and collaborate. I don't want to basically be doing be by yourself and shit. So you don't want to be by yourself doing this. You want to be with the right people, places, and things, the right circumstances, situations, the right friends, the right siblings, the right neighbors and shit. Let me teamwork make the dream work. And of course, you come together and create your own environment, and have shit working for you. Now, if you got to see your four files, you need to come, you need to start um communicating and sharing ideas about new new environments that can go in your favor when it comes to home, family, and privacy, or a new home within your environment. Let me. 
Now, if you got to see your fifth house, you need to come up with a new way of expressing your ideas, your feelings, your emotions, and of course, your, your um, solar plexus, aka coming up with new ways of creativity and talents, and of course, some form of enjoyment when it comes to this fifth house persona. Now, if you got to see your sixth house, you need to come up with a, a whole new way of, of course, expressing your mind and your way of thinking and communicating and sharing ideas about your work health routines and your consistency, things that you do on a day to day basis, how you can help others. Seventh house, you need to focus on your relationships, your collaborations, and of course, your equilibrium and balance of peace and harmony. Eighth house, you need to communicate deeply about your desires, your passion, your motivations, your sex, and of course, your sex appeal. Ninth house, you need to communicate and of course, express your ideas about visions, spirituality, dreams, and fantasies and traveling. Tenth house, you need to focus your persona on status, career, goals, reputation, business, responsibilities, and duties, and obligations, and structure, and building. Eleventh house, you need to start associating yourself with the right people, places, and things, the right circumstances, situations that want to kind of have a teamwork, dreamwork kind of perspective, or create a group or a chat log. Twelfth house, you want to communicate and share ideas about the right dreams and fantasies and imaginations with the right people, places, and things that have the right visions, the right dreams, the right goals, and of course, the right purpose.